Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi sahri sadri wa yassirli amli wahlul uqdatan min lisan yafqahu qawli amma ba'du. I would like to greet you all with Islamic greeting. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Malik Barges. My grandfather comes from Yaman, but my grandmother comes from Cianjur. It's a remote area around 90 kilometers from Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia. But I was born there and raised in Indonesia, so I speak uh, Bahasa, Indonesia. In 2006, I graduated from a senior high school. And at that time, I couldn't continue to the university. I had to work. I work as an admin and I joined so many organizations because I really wanted to learn Islam. And in 2007, I got accepted from the University of Indonesia, Faculty of Humanities, majoring Arabic literature. But at that time, the Arabic literature in my university is a little bit different. We take the books from English-speaking countries like America, Australia. We learn linguistics, phonetics, phonology from those countries, not from Saudi Arabia or Arab countries. So when I graduated in 2011, I really wanted to continue my study because I really want to learn Islam. I really want to learn. I wasn't satisfied with the knowledge that I had at that time. And before that, in 2009, I have joined for three years for the Islamic Youth Club in the University of Indonesia. And at that time, I was asked by my brother, Malik, do you want to join Islamic Youth Club? I said, why? Because there was nobody who wanted to join this Islamic Youth Club in the University of Indonesia. So I was so sad. How come Indonesia is the majority of Muslim in the world, but there was nobody wanted to join Islamic Youth Club in the University of Indonesia. So I joined that Islamic Youth Club. And in 2009, I invited a converted Muslim, young Muslim scholar named Ustad Felix Xiao. He converted from a Christian, but he could deliver Arabic, the ayah very well. So I was ashamed. I was, I'm Muslim, but I cannot do that. But the, this converted Muslim scholar can deliver ayah very well. So that's why I decided to continue my study in 2011. I went to Malaysia to learn Islamic economics. But then again, I wasn't satisfied. I graduated in 2013, and then there was this event. I really wanted to learn Islam from the authorized Muslim scholar named Dr. Zakir Naik. Thank you very much for the opportunity for me. I really want to learn a lot from you. And I want to go back to my home country because a lot of Muslim in Indonesia, they do not really practice Islam. They don't really pray. So only a few of them who pray five times. So that is the situation in my home country. So if I don't join this event, so maybe there was nobody from Indonesia. So it's a critical situation in Indonesia. Most of the scholars on TV are they, are those who are popular. Those who are popular with less knowledge. Sometimes when we ask them a question, they will answer in a very funny way. Well, they are talking about our religion, Islam. So that's why I really wanted to join this event and Alhamdulillah, I got accepted and I really want to learn and learn and I want to be a knowledgeable Muslim. Thank you very much, Dr. Zakir Naik. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala ali ashabi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri. My name is Riman Yunus. I have pursued my MBBS from China. And right now I'm pursuing my specialization in, in the field of radiology. And Alhamdulillah, I was born in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia in the year of 1990. 
And alhamdulillah, it was the first time in 2006 when my father, he took me to, that was a lecture by Dr. Zakir Naik in 2006. It was for two days. On the first day, my father told me, we have to go here. But I was making some excuses that I, want, I don't want to go there. I don't want to attend. But later my father said, I'm your father. And when I say you something, you have to follow me. So then after all, I made, after all my excuses were done, my father took me. And on the first day, when I've listened to Dr. Zak, that was an Urdu lecture. And after listening to the lecture, that lecture has changed me totally. And after the, and after the completion of the lecture, I said, my father, tomorrow I'll come here by any means. By any means, I would be attending the second day. And after that, inshallah, then I, it was the first time when I went to China in 2007. And there I had a subject by, called health education. And my teacher, he told me, you have to give a similar kind of talk for just one or two minutes. You can choose any topic you want, any topic. So then I went and asked him, can I talk on the topic of Islam? He said, of course you can. If you, you, I said any topic, so you can just speak on any topic. So after that, then I, I was just uh, wondering what could I speak then. Alhamdulillah, on the YouTube, I found the, a topic on scientific miracles in Quran by Dr. Zakir Naik. And it was in my class and we had a strength of about 100 students. And I was totally like unprepared. I was so nervous on that day. And when I, when I went on the stage and I delivered this speech by Dr. Zakir Naik about scientific miracles, after I finished, imagine I was the first one to score the number one. In my, in my whole in the strength of 100 students, I was the number one. It was all due to Allah's help and what I've learned from Dr. Zakir Naik. And then, alhamdulillah, there were a lot of Muslims, oh, sorry, there were a lot of non-Muslims who used to come ask me questions, but I couldn't reply to them. What I used to do, I just used to download some videos from YouTube, Dr. Sheikh Dr. Zakir Naik, and just used to present them. With this little effort, what I've done, alhamdulillah, there were four people, non-Muslims, who accepted Islam, alhamdulillah. And out of this proportion, three were non-Muslim girls, and one was a Muslim boy, a non-Muslim boy who reverted back to Islam. Alhamdulillah, being in touch with them, they asked me some questions, and alhamdulillah, then in 2014, in November, I met Dr. Zakir Naik in person in Shanghai, alhamdulillah. It was so uplifting to me, and alhamdulillah, I've learned a lot. And before coming here, alhamdulillah, I've made a lot of dua, alhamdulillah, and been selected for this. And I thank each and every one, especially Dr. Zakir Naik and the members of the team IRF for selecting me in this program. I'm really thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for being here. Wa akhirid da'wan, alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. To my beloved brothers. Basically, my name is Zamri Vinod. I came from Malaysia. Even though I look like Indian, I'm not an Indian. <laughs> so I'm from Malaysia and I'm from uh, Negris Milan. So, uh, well, let I tell about myself first. Uh, I'm married. Of course, with my first wife, I have two children. And I not yet have second wife yet. Okay. So uh, I converted to Islam. I reverted to Islam at the age of 16. And now I'm still 16. Do you know why? Because after I become Muslim, it's like a newborn baby, is it? So I started to count my age from that time again. So I'm still 16 now. So if you add on together, I'm 32. Okay. So I just want to tell about myself. Basically, we have an organization in Malaysia called by Squad Mubalik. And in Squad Mubalik, Malaysia, of course, I'm the, I'm the president of Squad Mubalik, Malaysia. We have, we have three, uh, what they call, uh, we have uh, three, in, in three states in Malaysia. We, we have Squad Mubalik in three states. And, and we have a Mubalik TV. It is, not, it is not as big as Peace TV. And it is very small and even maybe 1% maybe out of it. But I got that inspiration out of Peace TV because I was interested to give da'wah through, through media. And what we have done, there is a politician named by Lim Kit Siang, by Lim Kit Siang in Malaysia. So we have done a video. We asked him to become a Muslim. And that video was circulated over in Malaysia. And alhamdulillah, because I, I feel in Malaysia, when we talk about religion, it is quite sensitive. You see, so we want to make a mood that everybody can talk about religion and it shouldn't, it shouldn't be any, any problem. 
Okay, then after I become Muslim, and alhamdul alhamdulillah, last year, my whole family have become a Muslim. And my last brother have converted as a, as a Islam with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah, I believe when I become a Muslim, there is something that I discover about Islam. And I want everybody, each single person in this world should discover Islam. As I told my brother, if he know what I know, I believe he also will become a Islam. And he, he also will become a Muslim. And Alhamdulillah, he also have riveted as a Muslim. So inshallah, basically I learned a lot of things with the student of Dr. Zakir Naik, which is Brother Shakirit. So I'm a student of his student. And now I'm standing in front of you as your students. Inshallah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Allahumma thalli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Rabbi shrahli sorri wa yassiri amri. Wahlu uqdata min lisani yafqahu qawli. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My dear respected brothers, my name is Muhammad Fadli bin Burhan. I'm from Singapore. A country that is, um, da'wah is forbidden actually to the public. And Alhamdulillah, by Allah's grace, we have managed to do da'wah within the four walls of the masjid. And we have set up a team called One God SD, or otherwise known as Singapore Street Da'wah. We are doing da'wah within the four walls, and Alhamdulillah, we're getting tourists and also locals to come on board and to understand Islam. I come on board this training for one reason, is to improve on our da'wah towards the non-Muslim. And I would like to thank IRF and Mr. Dr. Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik for this wonderful event that they have put all the energy and effort into it to make it a successful one. I don't come from a background that is colorful, or rather I should say is black and gray. I come from the dark side of the world where most of my friends are those with tattoos. So, other than giving da'wah to the non-Muslims in Singapore, on the other side, I do da'wah to the gangsters. It may not be an easy task, but Alhamdulillah, with our help, some of the gangsters who were born Muslims are starting to come back to Islam. Alhamdulillah. By then, I hope we are here to support each other and give each other encouragement and take not this as a competition, inshallah. I'm wishing all the best for all of us. May Allah bless us with good ilmu, inshaAllah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma abad, fa'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa ahlul uqdata min lisani yafqa qawli. Respected elders and my dear brothers in Islam, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of Almighty God be on all of you. As you know, my name is Arsh Zagre. And alhamdulillah, many of our brothers have gone through a trials in their life. They were non-Muslims and they reverted to Islam. But Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the hidayah to my parents. They were Muslims, Alhamdulillah. And it was, before we, even I was born, it was a wish of my father that I will make my child to work in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before he was, I was born. So Alhamdulillah, before I was at Second standard, I studied in a convent school. But Alhamdulillah, after that, I, my parents got information about the Islamic International School by Dr. Zakir Naik. And Alhamdulillah, I got the admission in the Islamic International School from third standard. And it's a very interesting story about how I got admission. It was impossible, but it will take a lot of time. 
Alhamdulillah, I completed my 12th standard from Islamic International School, my A-levels. And inshallah, I will be, I have applied, Dr. Zakir Naik has applied for Imam Saud, the university in Riyadh. And inshallah, just pray for me that my admission happens as soon as possible so that I may gain knowledge of Islam and spread this knowledge to the entire world. I mean, after completing my 12th, all of my friends and many of my relatives, they asked me, like, what are you going to do after 12th? Join some courses, join some science class and everything. But I had in mind that if I want to dedicate my life in the service of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why should I pursue those fields which are not concerned to me? For example, they're telling me to do MBA, but I want to do Dawah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opted for me a third way that is to join Islamic Research Foundation, alhamdulillah. From past few months, I'm working as an employee in Islamic Research Foundation and I've got to learn a thousand things which I could have never learned in the course of MBA. Alhamdulillah. Now it's a very interesting story that I was an employee of IRF Islamic Research Foundation I've, and I could have never thought that I would be a part of the DTP, of the International Dawah Training Program. I was, Dr. Zahagin Naik made me a DTP coordinator, as you may know, that I was sending the mails and SMS to you all. I would never imagine that I would be a part of you, but it's Allah's way to his hida, his blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that eventually, yesterday morning, he informed me that inshallah, I will be the part of the Islamic Dawah training program, alhamdulillah. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us all the courage, the, uh, the knowledge and the confidence and the bearing capacity to engulf all these Islamic teachings that Dr. Zakir Naik and the complete IRF team has given us. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام أسرب من بيع المسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ميرا نام أزران تان هي And I uh, embraced Islam in the year uh, 1986 when I was in school, a Christian school, together with uh, Brother Kamaruddin. And um, for the past uh, maybe 10 years, I've been doing uh, da'wah in Penang, uh, street da'wah. Uh, I, I, I used to teach Hokkien, which is uh, a dialect in Chinese, uh, so that Da'is will be able to, to converse with uh, the Chinese in Penang. And uh, for the past, I think, six months, I I'm employed with uh, the Malaysian Chinese Muslim Association in uh, Kuala Lumpur as a, a Mubale. And um, um, I got, the, I got the, an offer to come to Mumbai, and here I am. Well, uh, my hope is that uh, I could uh, be a more effective Dai and uh, will be able to answer to my, uh, the, the, the non Muslim which I meet, the Madaus, uh, to provide them with a better understanding of Islam and to, to clear the misconception of Islam and uh, the Islamophobia and uh, to give them a clearer picture uh, of, the, of Islam, of how beautiful is Islam. Uh, that's my intention uh, to uh, come here and learn. So, me tum se pia kalta hum. Thank you very much.
اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام ولا اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین ولا علی وصحبہ اجمعین اما بعد ای ویلکم یو آل دا برادرس وتھ اسلامک گریٹنگ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ تعالی و برکاتہ مائی نیم از ابو شارس بادر بن سراج الہدا ایز یو کین سی ائی ایم فرام ملیشیا I graduated from Institute Chartered of Shipbrokers London where I took a professional qualifying examination in year 2004. Alhamdulillah I am a businessman I have a shipping company in Port Klang as well as I am a da'i an active da'i where I am a volunteer in Islamic Information Services Foundation Kuala Lumpur as well as the deputy president of Squad Kadir Selangor. Therefore I consider myself a businessman a full-time businessman as well as full-time da'i. Alhamdulillah I had interest in da'wah and Islam since a since a very small age. I'm a family person. I find um, energy from um, you know from my family, the motivation from my family, my wife Hera Shahzad and my three lovely daughters Tanzil, Samin and Ramin. I miss them very much. At this very minute uh, there's a wedding going on in my in my house. My youngest uh, brother is getting married. but uh, call of da'wah is uh, more important than anything else and alhamdulillah i am here today leaving everybody behind the credit is not mine for my love in da'wah and islam the credit is not mine the credit is my mom's and my dad's just like brother ash zagade even uh, when i was in the womb my mother used to dua that one day i i mean when i grow up uh, when i'm born and i grow up i love islam and i become servant of islam and here i am with the opportunity to serve islam because of my mother's dua the credit also goes to my father haji sarajun hoda my mother's name was uh, miss nusrat sultana from lucknow india my dad haji sarajun he used to inspire me by watching ahmed idad's video we used to have all the collections of ahmed idad's video uh, and uh, invited guests uh, to home and watch these videos together from the age of 12 i developed the interest and the motivation to become a da'i one day My best experience of my life is Dr. Zakir Naik's Malaysian tour in year 2012 where alhamdulillah I was the event director with the help of 700 volunteers we made it happen alhamdulillah I was also the compare and the host in most of the lectures it was a really really memorable experience and I dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will there be something better than this could something better be something better than this can happen and alhamdulillah I've got I have been selected now for this that was program i'm being very emotional because i'm really really happy and very very honored uh, to be here i am born in india lucknow uttar pradesh and often i am being asked where what is your background where where actually you come from what are you and the beautiful answer which i always give is that because i'm born in lucknow geographically i'm a hindu because i believe in praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So technically I'm also a Jew. And since I'm a follower of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I'm also the followers of all the prophets of Islam including Jesus Christ, so I'm also a Christian. And alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, by following the sunnah Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I am trying to be an honest and practicing Muslim. I thank Brother Zakir Naik and uh, IRF for the opportunity to be here today. to learn to be an effective da'i inshallah with this i end my introduction wa akhiru da'wa walhamdulillah rabbil alamin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim assalatu wassalam ala rasulika وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي the reason i quoted this ayah after the amma ba'd is because naturally i'm a very nervous person and at times i tend to stutter and this is a dua i'm making to allah and through this i'm hoping that he'll make my communication reach your hearts 
My name is Imran. And I come from very humble be beginnings. I was born in Bangalore and I had my education in Velur, Tamil Nadu. And most of them were Christian schools. So a lot about Christianity I got, I got to learn while I was a little child. And even uh, the televisions back in those days would uh, only talk about either Mahabharata or the Jesus shows. Yeah. So I had a fair idea about Christianity, very little about Islam. It is when I started doing my higher secondary, which was in government Muslim higher secondary school, that my Muslim friends actually showed me what Islam was. And I got more and more attracted to it. But my passion towards Dawah was not, not yet established. It was very recently that one of my customers, when I was working in call centers, by the way, I was a call center employee a little before joining IRF. And it was the customers who brought it to my attention that nearly six months, seven months ago, there was an incident in Texas which made an uprise about the paintings of uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, well, it was shocking for me. And I was expecting a stronger reaction from Muslims. When I shared about this, the, the reaction from Muslims was surprising for me that they were, they were quite calm. And on the other hand, the uh, Christians, their reaction was pretty natural of course. So I saw a lot of people trying to defend Islam. They didn't know, they didn't have the knowledge. People started, I mean, what, what little knowledge I had was also not there, but they were still emotionally trying to defend. So that's when I started doing more research. And I, uh, stum I mean, I, I you know, stumbled across a lot of uh, good da'is, like uh, Dr. Zakir Lai and uh, Noman Ali Khan and uh, Dr. Shabir Ali. Uh, Hussein Yeh, and a few more, uh, including Ahmed Didad Sheikh. Uh, so I, I, whatever I have learned is, is only through uh, these great da'is. If it weren't for these guys, I wouldn't be standing here. Alhamdulillah. And uh, Zakir, Dr. Zakir Naik was one of the first two da'is I ever knew. He was in Bangalore. Uh, about 10 years, a little over 10 years ago, at the, uh, the palace ground with Yusuf Estes. So I was back then surprised to see a Muslim talking about other religious scriptures. I mean, it was understandable to see Yusuf Estes talking about Islam because he embraced it. But the way Dr. Zakir presented a different view from anyone would have seen back then. His style hasn't changed till today, <laughs> as you can see. He pretty much quotes the same openings, and uh, of course, the Quranic ayahs don't change, but his style remains the same. So, Alhamdulillah, we, we always, there is always a learning to learn from him. And I, I had already begun the idea to do dawa on social media. And uh, I'm also a graphic designer. I've done my course, but I haven't been professionally practicing it because it was only a hobby. So I went ahead and uh, started working on uh, social media, doing whatever little I can, and joined IOU, Islamic Online University, which is Dr. Bilal Phillips University, and I learned a little bit more. So, um, yeah, and then there was a time when I wanted to do dawah, so I, 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 I uh, got, I, I actually requested IOU to see if I can join their social media team for dawah. Around that time, I, I, I saw, fortunately, that there was an op opportunity to work with IRF as a dai through this training program. So I went ahead and applied. Alhamdulillah, for what happened. I'm grateful to Allah. But with this, I would like to end my speech. وَآخِرْ دَعْوَنَا وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ
الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأصلي على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا وحبيبنا وقدوتنا وإمامنا عليه وعلى آله أفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم أما بعد All praise is indeed due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one and all complete blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Firstly I would like to start off with my name I am Ahmad Omar Muhammad Yusuf and I was born in Kandy which is the hill capital of Sri Lanka and right now alhamdulillah I've moved on to Colombo which is the capital city of Sri Lanka and I've gained my education and we are living there alhamdulillah so as far as my family background is concerned I come from a very knowledgeable family one thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give a family it is a great bounty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give a family is a good lineage Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me with that my family is such I hail from a family as such that three generations above me are scholars alhamdulillah and now by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I've also turned up a scholar last year alhamdulillah I gained my as far as my education is concerned I gained my bachelor in Islamic science and I've completed that successfully and I'm hoping to go more and study about Islam and become an effective da'i insha'Allah ta'ala that is my hope and that is my dream as well well I never thought that I would be a part of such a program that would create effective da'is insha'Allah ta'ala as far as my activities are concerned da'wa activities I'm a part of three things in Colombo number one it is an organization which is uh, well versed in activities of da'wah in social media that is called I have a network called WTT network what I try to say from that is the message that I give from that is we try to walk whatever we talk so walk the talk network I used to make episodes online every week to benefit the people for the past two years alhamdulillah so that is happening meanwhile I am engaged with a program or a charitable trust that my father is a part of a charitable trust which engages which is which creates possibilities to give da'wah to people through social service we've engaged in many activities of social service and charitable activities which will give them an introduction of Islam which will give them an introduction of how Islam gives uh, speciality and importance to hospitality my beloved brothers and elders in Islam that's number two and number three I'm involved in a prominent institution in Colombo which is also run by my father which is known as Fath Academy Academy of Success so in that academy we give Islamic education plus the secondary education the school whatever they teach they, they also teach that in the school higher secondary school plus the Islamic studies which goes right till the higher secondary school Alhamdulillah I'm a part of all these three things that is a part of my da'wah and I wish that I want to become one effective and full-time da'i insha'Allah ta'ala I have three objectives from this particular program that I wish to get insha'Allah ta'ala number one I want this training program to, be, uh, to make me transform but not only gain information it should, give, it should be a transformation for all of us not an information based thing number two it must make us feel the duties that we have not to claim our rights and number three we should understand and we should make feel ourselves that we become people who serve the society not people who survive with what we learn may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the opportunity to become effective da'is and may he give us the opportunity to become people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us accepted us may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite us in the gardens of paradise just as he united us in this beautiful Mumbai wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen
Alhamdulillah, before we have the short break, I would just like to ask, I know that many of you have been on the stage before. Who has come for the first time on the stage in his life? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you raise your hand a bit higher? Who has come on the stage the first time? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mashallah. So how's the experience? Anyone want to give us comments? How's the experience? Sorry? Terrifying. So I'm a terrorist. And all the others, maybe 13 of you have come on the stage before. How many have come on such a stage? Such a stage means there is a different stage as compared to other stages. Stages are of various types. Some are professional, some are non-professional. How many have come before on such a stage which is mainly created to go on a satellite? How many? One, two, three, four. Four. MashaAllah. If two are from the school, one has been to my show before, and Brother Kamruddin, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Now we are supposed to have the objectives of the training program, which we shall have after the lunch break. We are running approximately 45 minutes behind schedule. So we'll have the break for the Zuhur Salah, and we will not shorten the lunch break. We'll keep it one hour. I don't want to shorten the break. We'll inshallah resume at 2.30 inshallah. 15 minutes for the Zuhar Salah. One hour for the lunch break. Inshallah 2.30 we'll come back. And we may extend maybe a session after Maghrib. Or we'll try and shorten the session inshallah. So inshallah we'll meet sharp at 2.30 inshallah in the same auditorium.